Emotions can be tricky. Here's how we can help children learn to navigate them. Hi, I'm Dr. Megan and I guide people in growing, learning, and cultivating connection and curiosity. One of the most essential skills we can teach that is often overlooked is emotional regulation. Teaching children is not just about creating various skill sets around academics and language. It's about helping them understand how to manage and navigate the emotional experiences that they have all throughout their days. The interesting thing is that social emotional learning is not a standalone process. There are pieces of it that we might explicitly teach and address on their own. It's really woven into everything we do throughout our day, especially if we're providing intervention. The more that we can teach children how to navigate their emotional experiences, the more we will see progress in changing unsafe behavior and also improvements in skill acquisition across other domains like social skills, language, communication, etc. For example, if we teach a child how to recognize when they're getting frustrated, they can start to engage in strategies to help navigate that, potentially recenter, calm themselves down, self-advocate, take a break from the situation instead of it escalating further and we see unsafe behavior start to occur from an, a way to protect themselves from that frustration. And of course, if they're learning how to notice that they're getting frustrated and navigate that before it gets into a situation that's unsafe, that leaves more time available for learning and enjoying various life experiences. In future videos, we'll dive into how we can actually address social emotional learning within our daily routines and the various interventions and teaching that we're doing if you're a behavior analyst or a teacher. When children can navigate their emotions, they unlock the potential to engage with the world in a more meaningful and joyful way. Let's start focusing on social emotional learning as a priority instead of an afterthought. Don't forget to give me a follow if you would like to continue to learn more about this concept of social emotional learning. Hopefully it will benefit the children in your lives as well as yourself because most of us as adults didn't receive any sort of training and explicit instruction on how to manage our own emotions. This topic is one that's beneficial in multiple ways for our lives, both for ourselves and for our children.